Hi, it's day two at the Max Air Show, and as you may know, interesting things are not only going on in the sky, but also on the ground. That's why we decided today to focus on some of the new amazing technologies presented by the Russian defense industry, such as the beautiful birds just behind me. I want to introduce you a project of Tsagi, a heavy cargo aircraft with a lifting body. It's intended for cargo transportation, especially in containers, standard 20 feet equivalent units, about 48 containers. It's maximum takeoff weight about 1,000 tons, payload about 500 tons, it uh, will use ground effect uh, in cruise flight, but it can fly it, uh, higher at uh, altitudes about uh, 3,000 meters. And it uh, operates from traditional airfields, uh, uh, which used by Airbus A380. It uh, uses uh, cryogenic fuel, uh, liquefied natural gas uh, as its uh, fuel for its power plant. Its power plant uh, presented with four turboprop engines with unducted fans. Its propulsion will be in investigated later. For now, we have to uh, do uh, some aerodynamic uh, and uh, strange calculations. Uh, next year, we will have aerodynamic tests in wind tunnel. I think uh, that this project uh, will be realized as aircraft uh, in uh, 2030s or later. Now, we work uh, only in SAGI, in a contract uh, with the Russian government. This project started uh, in 2014 in as uh, a proposal and now it's uh, official. Developed by the Ulan Ude Aviation Plant, a subsidiary of Russian Helicopters Holding Company, the MI-8 AMTSH-VA helicopter has been designed for operation in the Arctic region. This Arctic version of the famous MI-8 HIP differs from the traditional vehicles uh, with an upgraded navigation system, special flight preparation system which use TA-14 auxiliary power unit as well as additional equipment designed to make the crew more comfortable. In order to improve the life support system, ventilation and heating systems have been upgraded. In addition, the crew must wear immersion suits during flights. These suits are designed to help pilots survive in case of emergency landing in the Arctic region. The first MI-8 IMTSH VA helicopter has been delivered in November 2015. The helicopter is fitted with equipment enabling it to operate in low temperatures where orientation is difficult, polar night, without satellite signal, where radio links are unreliable over great expense of water and a long way from base. This helicopter can operate in very low temperatures thanks to its built-in systems to heat the power plant and gear Teflon hose incorporated into the hydraulics and oil and fuel systems. The helicopter is equipped with special covers to improve the efficiency of the systems responsible for heating the main component. The helicopter is also equipped with a range of navigation systems, duplicate satellite systems, digital avionics enhanced with built-in map generation and strapped-on inertial reference systems. 
enabling it to identify its current coordinates in the event that satellite's signal is lost. The helicopter weather radar identifies dangerous weather conditions in both horizontal and vertical profiles, scans the ground area and identifies objects and shorelines. And finally, a specialized communication suite ensures reliable and interrupted radio links over a wide range of frequencies. And let's stay in the Arctic region with a new helicopter drone, the VRT-300, designed by the VP Technologies company, a subsidiary of Russian helicopters. The VRT-300 supervision priority missions include the development of the transportation system of the Northern Sea Route and assistance in Arctic development. The platform has a side view high resolution onboard radar operating in the X-band which rapidly assesses the dynamic of the ice situation. The diesel engine and seaborne capabilities makes the VAT-300 Arctic version irreplaceable for icebreakers and drilling platforms. Due to a big payload of 70 kg, the drone can transport various cargoes such as food and medicines from a ship to the polar station and back. The platform can also measure ice thickness along the navigation route, engage in search and rescue operations at sea and determine the size of major ice fields suitable for scientific polar stations. According to the company, the VLT-300 has a maximum speed of 180 km per hour and an operational range of 150 km. <laughs> SR-10 is a prototype Russian single-engine jet trainer aircraft fitted with forward swept wings. It first flew in 2015 and is being offered to the Russian Air Force and for export. The SR-10 was offered to meet a previous requirement for basic trainer for the Russian Air Force, but was rejected in favor of the Yakovlev Yak-152, a proposed turboprop trainer. The SR-10 monoplane jet turner aircraft is made of modern composite materials. It features aerodynamic design which enhances the safety during aerobatic maneuvers at high altitudes. It has an overall length of 959 cm and a wingspan of 8 meters. A sole AI-25TL turbofan engine manufactured by Ivchenko Progress powers the prototype of the SR-10 trainer airplane. The production aircraft will be powered by a PL55 turbofan engine developed by NPO Saturn. The aircraft has a maximum speed of 700 km, a maximum airspeed of 900 km and a cruise speed of 520 km per hour. It can reach an altitude of 6 km and fly up to a range of 1500 km.
retiring this year at the show, the MiG-35 and its twin seat version, the MiG-35D, are designed for dealing with aerial and static and moving surface streets in any climate and weather conditions. Both aircraft share the design, avionic suite and weapon suite. The MiG-35 design is grounded in the solution implemented in the MiG-29 carrier-borne multi-role and MiG-29M air superiority fighters. They include an increased payload on 9 arc points, an increased fuel load, the mid-air refueling systems, and body-body refueling capability. The MiG-35 also features a reduced radar signature and a nutritional digital integrated quadruple redundant fly-by-wire control system. The normal takeoff weight of the MiG-35 and its diversion stand at 19,000 kg, with the MTOW of both versions being 24,000 kg. Their maximum speed is 2,100 km per hour at high altitude. The compact radius of the MiG-35 single-seater carrying air-to-air -air missiles and three drop songs is between 1,000 and 1,400 km depending on its altitude and weapon speed. Both MiG-35 and MiG-35D avionics suites include the OLSKE Podet Lockdown Electro-Optical Target Acquisition System spotting ground traits either independently or using the target designated fed by the targeting navigation system. The avionics also include the MSP 418KE compact active jammer pod. According to MiG Corporation, this pod is designed for individual protection of the MiG-35 against current and future surface-to-air missile systems and aerial threats by means of active electronic countermeasure. New modifications include the newly rolled out Fazotron Zuck AAE IESA radar, the first such radar on any Russian fighter. This radar spots an airborne target with the 5 square meter radar cross section at a distance of more than 100 km. It has also a 30 aircraft multiple target tracking capability. The radar processes the Bion visual range engagement capability, tracks 30 targets at a time and illuminates 6 of them simultaneously. The weapon suit of the MiG-35 includes the Air-77, medium-range and Air-73 dogfight missiles. The aircraft is also outfitted with the 30mm automatic gun. The payload on the 9 external weapon station weighs more than 6,000 kg. The Iliuchin IL-76MD-90A is a new military transport aircraft developed by Iliuchin Aviation Complex, a subsidiary of United Aircraft Corporation. It is a modernized version of the IL-76MD, which itself is based on the IL-76 cargo aircraft platform. This aircraft successfully completed its maiden flight tests in March 2013 near Moscow. The IL-76MD-90A is developed to transport a range of military equipment, armored personnel, heavy and long-sized vehicles and cargoes. It will also be used in parachuting cargo troops and other airborne cargo missions. The Russian MOD signed a 4 billion contract with UAC for the delivery of 39 aircraft in October 2012. The delivery started in 2014. The IL-76MD-90A has a maximum takeoff weight of 210 tons and can carry a maximum payload of 52 tons. It can accommodate up to 5 crew members. The aircraft is capable of carrying 126 parachutists of 145 troops in a single deck arrangement and 225 troops in a double deck arrangement. It can also be installed with special equipment to carry 114 injured persons. 
The IL76 MD90A is powered by four fourth generation PS90A76 turbofine engines. It consumes 12% lesser fuel and offers an increased flight range of 80%. The aircraft can cruise at a speed of 800-850 km. It can fly at a maximum altitude of 12,000 meters. The maximum range of the aircraft is 8,500 kilometers.